The most shocking fact about acute heart failure is that the single most commonly used and, fact, and fast acting drug, diuretics, not like furosemide, lasix, which dramatically relieves the most uh, terrifying symptoms drawing from pulmonary edema, has never been shown to improve long term survival. So, when a patient uh, presents with acute heart failure, their lungs are filled with fluid and they are struggling to breathe. The first drug given, first, 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 is almost always a powerful loop diuretic to make the patient urinate out liters of excess fluid, drying out the lungs and providing rapid symptom relief. So, the shocking fact, the shocking part is that the that this is a purely symptomatic treatment. It's a brilliant plumbing solution for a pump problem. It drains the fluid basements, the lungs, but doesn't absolutely nothing to fix the broken pipe, the failing heart. Furthermore, it, if used too aggressively, diuretics can be harmful. By, by excessively depleting the body's fluid volume, they can decrease cardiac output and worsen blood flow to vital organs, can cause acute kidney injuries, cardiorenal syndrome, activate the dangerous neurohormonal systems like the renin angiotensin aldosterone system that worsen the long-term prognosis of heart failure, so it's a palliative emergency drug. Yes, the most powerful tool in the emergency from uh, emergency room for acute heart failure is essentially palliative care for the lungs. It makes the patients feel better, of course, but doesn't fix the underlying uh, life-threatening problem. So it changes the goal of treatment. It reframes the primary goal of uh, acute heart failure management. The real goal is not just to dry the patient out, it's okay, but to reduce the workload on, on the heart with vasodilators, so for example, nitroglycerin, and to identify and treat the underlying cause. Of course, we have to manage at the same time heart attack, a valve problem if we can, of course, or a hypertensive emergency, okay? So it's a medical paradox. So the drug that provides the most dramatic and immediate relief uh, is not the one of, that saves lives in the long run. The drugs that do save lives, like beta blockers, AC inhibitors, are often started later, once the patient is out of problem, out of acute heart failure, and patient is principally stable. We cannot prescribe beta blockers, of course, in acute heart failure. You understand that? I answered your question. Great.